music. Over a decade ago, we lost one of the greatest voices music and the world has ever known. Whitney Houston's sheer, undeniable talent solidified her as one of the best-selling female artists of all time and the blueprint for a new generation of artists to emulate. Now, her story comes to life in the much-anticipated new movie, I Wanna Dance With Somebody, and we were at Radioactive Records in Fort Lauderdale where they have erected a shrine of music in Whitney's honor. Now I'm here with the manager of Radioactive Records, known to everyone that loves and adores her as Nat Smallish. So good to see you. You too, thank you. This place is awesome. When you walk into Radioactive Records, you are immediately greeted with just all of these timestamps in history with vinyl and music. And we're seeing this resurgence of vinyl, like on TikTok and people collecting, but what is it about this form of music and how we listen to this music that people are so enamored with, they're so entranced with? Um, well, definitely the nostalgia of it. It's been around for so long and it's just about people just wanting to feel bonded to a piece of something. Yes. And, you know, whether you're a photographer or an artist or a musician, something that a record can give you instead of just pressing play on YouTube. Uh, here, oh, here, she's singing my song right now. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I love it. So, okay, here at Radioactive Records, you have Win It Wednesdays where they can win some of the cool vinyl you have here. We do. So every single week, we host something called Win It Wednesdays every Wednesday. And you can, re you can win anything from concert tickets with Revolution Live or Culture Room to record packages. Um, and we are specifically doing a giveaway for the new Whitney Houston, I Wanna Dance With Somebody. Yes. Next week on Wednesday, we will be running that when we open at 11 a.m. Cool, and they could win this compilation. Which is really good. It's a good one. If you're a massive Whitney fan, as we both are, yes, you want to win this. Okay, so let's talk about the Whitney Houston of it all. Uh, okay. Whitney Houston, I want to dance with somebody in yes. theaters this weekend for Christmas. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Whitney Houston! Your favorite Whitney song. Okay. That's Dying to know. That's a really hard question. It's not! I've been pondering it. Okay. And I, it, they, it's between two, and they are on here. I want to say very, very first one is I'm Every Woman. Okay, we'll take it. That is like, and Higher Love are my top two. Ah, oh, with Kygo. Super good. Fun fact, I talked to the director of that video, Hannah Lux Davis, and she even said making that and honoring Whitney in that way was like the highlight of her career. Such a good song. I would say if I had to pick my favorite Whitney song, it would be Why Does It Hurt So Bad from Waiting to Exhale. And if you haven't seen that live performance from the 1996 MTV uh, Movie Video Awards, please go watch it. I haven't seen it, so I will definitely do that. Why She's still good. Does it? Hurt so bad. As she always did. As, as Winnie does, right? As, as she always did. All right, let's let's go let's go look at some more vinyl. All right, let's do it. I'm hanging out with my boy Dwayne here at Radioactive Records. You are a massive Whitney fan. Yeah. What's your favorite Whitney moment, or what's one moment that that really sticks out to you that you recall fondly? Uh, I would say when she made the bodyguard. Yeah. And this that that whole moment, if you were like a, a witness to music at that time, you would definitely know that that's the moment for like, at least for me and a lot of, a lot of Whitney fans. Smart man here. Yeah. He knows what's up. You got the spirit of Whitney. Oh, for sure. She, I think she's the greatest singer of all, like, my lifetime. Mine too. Mic drop. Interview's over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for coming, friends.